a pair of NFC South arch rivals were in competition for the services of free agent defensive tackle Tyler Davison, and now it appears one of them has won. On Saturday, the Atlanta Falcons agreed to terms with Davison on a one-year contract, the team announced in a statement. Though the Falcons have secured the player on this short-term arrangement, both sides are hoping that they will come to terms on a long-term contract in the near future. A former fifth-round draft pick by New Orleans from Fresno State four years ago, Davison started 12 games last season and played in 14 for the eventual NFC South champions. He had 23 tackles, two tackles for loss, three quarterback hurries, and two sacks. Atlanta has been looking to secure a complement on the inside of their defensive line to Grady Jarrett, who the Falcons franchise tagged this offseason, but still hope to sign to a long-term contract. The Falcons currently have six other defensive tackles under contract, including Jarrett, Deidre Sinat, Jack Crawford, Justin Zimmer, Jacob Tauti Mariner, and Michael Bennett. Even though the team will add Davison, it is still expected that the team will continue scouting potential defensive tackles for their no. 14 overall pick in the NFL draft this year. Already, several reports have linked the Falcons with former Houston defensive tackle and consensus high first-round selection Ed Oliver. Last season, Davison appeared on 421 snaps with the Saints defense, or 40.87% of the team's total, compared to 111 special teams snaps, or 25.93% of that total. He averaged around 42% involvement for New Orleans on a per-game basis, and appeared on a majority of snaps in two games, in the regular season opener and finale. The potential loss of Davison has been a focus of the Saints this offseason, inspiring them to move quickly when the free agency period began, in addition to signing Brown also bringing in defensive lineman and interior pass rusher Mario Edwards. Meanwhile, the Saints are also looking at the possibility of not having starting tackle Sheldon Rankins on the field as he continues to rehab from an Achilles tear, with reports saying that he will begin the 2019 season on the pup list, and David Onyemata may receive an NFL suspension to begin the year after an off-season arrest.